Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, I'm here to solve a problem. Uh, you know, I help install pick and uh, show you how to run the commands on git bash. Uh, that is a Ruby version manager for Windows because Windows doesn't use the RVM which, you know, are used by like, you know, MacBooks and stuff like that. So, let's get to it without much waste of time. Okay. So, I'll assume that you've installed uh I'll assume that you've installed uh, um, Ruby already. So let's say you've installed Ruby on your Windows machine, and uh, so go ahead and you know go to your directory like C or whatever. Like uh, I'll do that here for mine, so you can see it. And go ahead and type in gem install gem install pick. You see, since I've already installed it, I don't want to repeat it. But um, if you do that right, if you do that right, you'll see successfully installed pick, and then the version that you know, the latest version that is available, and then you'll see also one gem installed. That is if everything works right. Okay, now let's move on to the next level. Now here we have to do a pick install, you know, running that script which will enable enable us to install a uh, pick executable and we do this in two steps so the first step is to say uh, add cbin to your environment variables I mean when I say environment variables I, I assume you know what it is but um, if you don't know what it is I can uh, I can as well just jump in really quick here and uh, let me say a, a really quick search here and say advanced uh, advanced settings and I can say view advanced settings and as you can see there it is environment variables and if you you know scroll down here a little bit you'll see path so this is what you need to do so you click edit and add C colon slash bin see this right here I did add here and because I did already I can't repeat it so C slash or C colon semi I mean backslash bin okay so after you do that you can step back and um, you know clicking or clicking okay there and and then on your command line you know assuming you've done that the first step right on your command line go ahead and say pick install C you know colon backslash bin so you can easily do that by uh, you know just saying um, pick install sorry pick install uh, c backslash bin c colon backslash bin okay so that will run the executable and you should see something like this pick is installed so if you run that you'll see pick is installed and you'll also see a message saying if you want to use pick with git bash add the following line to your uh, something bash rc file so this is what you need to add so if you want to post this video right now and copy this somewhere you should do that so it is uh, left angle bracket, left angle bracket, then minus s, then user profile, and then slash dot pick, slash dot pick rc, and then closing, you know, angle brackets, and then and and source user profile, the same thing you can see. So uh, let's go to the next video. Now testing on your com command line. Let's see if pick already works. Okay, you know, if you run pick. Again, I'll demonstrate this really quick here. You know, you just type in pick. Okay? And since, you know, I've already installed everything, I don't see the same results really. But you should be able to see something like this. Adding, you know, the version of Ruby and then Ruby 1.9, something like that. And then you see located at Ruby, the Ruby location. So, Again, you can also pause this video just to verify things, and then you can go. D let's go to the next one. Then let's let's use pick on our command line now. So, 
as you can guess it, you can guess it here pick help commands just you know list all the commands that uh, are available for use I'm going to uh, show you really quick here so it is pick help command and you see a huge list of uh, huge list of commands here you know you can do add config default dev kit gem all that and uh, it's pretty easy to see so uh, another one here is uh, using pick to add and use another Ruby version so you can the main purpose of this uh, pick is to manage different versions of, uh, of Ruby so right now you can run Ruby minus V okay let's see here really quick Ruby minus V that will give us the version of Ruby that is currently in use as you can see mine is 1.9.3 and then then some other information there so you might realize that even though we've installed uh, peak there's nothing that changed so you will realize that when you do this now in the next slide we'll see what we need to do so that we can you know add more versions to the uh, you know to pick so that we can actually manage different versions now I assume that you've downloaded several other versions whichever you need you can say like you know plus one minus one something like that so I downloaded Ruby 2.0 and you know followed all the instructions for installing but make, make sure that you do not check the box that says had Ruby executables to your path that will you know that will that will make sure that you don't have like two versions of Ruby running at the same time you know in the in the path so after you've installed a, another version of Ruby you need to type pick add C colon backslash Ruby 200 slash bin okay just type that line and you should be able to see something like this star star adding 200 ruby whatever version you know you choose so that should be straightforward enough and then let's move it to the next level again you can always pause this video and you know and follow the instructions as simple as that now run pick list to see you know what is available let's say pick list as you can see I have three versions of ruby here one two one nine two one nine three and two hundred so one one nine three is currently in use as you can see from the star this star indicates that the the version that I'm using right now is one nine three so if you just enter pick list it will show you all the uh, the versions of Ruby that you have okay let's move on to the next one uh, now we can switch from one version to another this is what exactly this pick is for so how to switch from you know one version of Ruby to another it's really easy just say pick use 200 or pick use whatever version you're using so I'm going to uh, let's say uh, pick use 193 you know I probably already use that so how do I know that something changed let's say pick use 200 okay now how do you check that you just say pick list so pick list now has a star at 200 which means the version 2.0.0 uh, 0. 0. now I can change that and say pick use 192 okay and then I, I can now say pick list and you can see the star now points to 192 I can also check and say what is Ruby version that is currently in use you can, you can see 192 exactly like I, I said so uh, you know I would like I would like to go back to what I, I, I was uh, I was earlier so I would go ahead and pick use 193 and uh, now I can look again and say what is the the current version that I'm using and this pick um, I mean 192 or 1.9.3 okay now um, in the next slide let, let's check uh, the version in use I mean we've already done that I'm sorry I, I almost repeated myself so you can always check to see you know which version of Ruby is in use by you know saying pick list and seeing where the star 
Yes. Okay. Next. Um, now, most people always w would love to use pick commands with git bash. Okay. So let's let me show you just my git bash right now. And and uh, sorry, my git. Let me exit this one. I'm sorry. Um, oh, sorry. No, no. So this is my git bash, right? But if you want to use commands from pick inside git bash, you should uh, you should do something. There's something that you have to do, and that is what I want to show you right now. Okay. Uh, let me get back to the presenter mode here. And. Uh, and get to it. So, when you install Git, I mean uh, pick, you are told that you need to add a certain file that I, you know, a line of text that I showed you earlier to your bash file. The problem is you might not have this bash rc file all in your uh, in your in your profile. Now, so I had to learn that the hard way, you know, searching all over the world for it, you know, on uh, Stack Overflow, and I don't want you to do it. So I'll go I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so you need to uh, check, go to C, and then users, and then your name, and see if you have that file already. The other way to check that is by doing this um, by using your git bash, go ahead and say ls then minus a. If you see that, since I already created that file myself. I will probably find it here uh, and you can see right here this is bash rc but if you don't see it you can create it so how do you create it it is very simple just open your you know text editor of choice i you know i like sublime text too and create a file an empty file and then add this text the, te the same text i showed you earlier and then click save I mean, since it is the first time you're saving it, and then you can uh, navigate to user. I mean, users, and then your name, and then save it right there, okay? And call it bash rc, exactly like that. Dot but bash rc. Don't forget to write dot bash rc, and then in the you know types of files make sure it is uh, all files and then click save after you click save you're almost done here so uh, you know after clicking save uh, you should be able to to see that file by simply running uh, simply running ls minus a in the git bash so I'm going to you know I've done that already but for you you can always do it you know just to make sure that you know everything works fine and let me go back here and uh, I can clear this this screen here and then just say ls minus a now that will show that the file is or you know is, is is there but what about making sure that it works how do you know run the pick list command if you say pick list command it will show you just like on the command line the version of Ruby that is working okay so we have already accomplished that now and I think we are almost done here so uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you is that you know instead of uh, you know working with the command line all the time you can now switch to the git bash and you can issue the same commands as you would on the other side of the uh, of the you know of the window so again this is the file that I w you know this is the text that I would you know want you to paste into that new file that you created make sure that you save it as dot bash rc and the location is c you know colon users colon your name make sure that you keep this really uh, very close okay and um, I think you know if you follow these instructions you should be able to uh, to get everything you know done right so always use pick list and you'll see the version of Ruby that is in use thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you really found 
you know you found it helpful and um, if you have any questions you can always anytime visit my blog for uh, more information and even contact me so my blog is simpledeveloper.wordpress.com and you can also find me on twitter at invincible and by saying that i am not invincible you know i just try to be my best so good night or thank you and uh, have a good day bye bye